Good morning. Let us pray. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the year 1990, I wrote and recorded a song called The Sea. This is a song that is about water, holy water, and the presence and the power of Almighty God. In a moment, you will hear this song. Listen to its movement. Listen to its power. Of course, it is about the Sea of Galilee. It is about that place where that story took place, where Peter and the disciples headed out into the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus was alone by Himself praying on the shore. As Peter and the disciples set out on the sea, a storm began to rage. The waves began to rise. And fear and anxiety began to surround them and grip hold of them. Suddenly, a figure walks across the water. They don't know who it is. In fact, they believe that it could be a ghost. And that brings more fear and anxiety to them. It is the fear of the unknown. And Jesus, in the only way that Jesus can, says these words that calm the waves, that calm the storm and the winds, and ultimately calms the fear and anxiety that is taking hold of their hearts and their souls. When He says, Do not be afraid. Fear not. It is I, Jesus. And that fear and anxiety calmed within them. This fear and anxiety seems to be taking hold of us in society today in unprecedented ways. We are at a time that none of us have really ever experienced before. In a sense, there really are two kinds of fear that are surrounding us. And I have seen both just in the past several weeks, really the past several days. One is a fear of the unknown. Fear and anxiety that seem to take hold of us and keep us from seeing hope. That keep us from seeing what life is really about. It is truly a fear that pulls us down. I've seen this fear in so many different kinds of ways as we have been studying the book Love Wins by Rob Bell. There's some that feel this fear in the reading of that book because it challenges them, because it's opening them up to possibilities. All of us. And yet at the same time, the other fear that I have seen has been the fear of God. The fear of something so much greater than us that it puts us in our place. A reverence for the Almighty, for the One who created each of us, who knows us uniquely. This fear, this fear that we have of this Almighty God is a healthy fear. And it's really where we should be in these sorts of times, where we take a step back and we realize what is it we truly fear? What is it? In this season of Lent, we are called to open ourselves up to the possibilities. We cannot put God in a box. No one can put God in a box. God is so much bigger than any of us can begin to imagine and for us, the hope is, as Christians, as believers, is that we know that God is ever-present during these times. As the storms rage 
and the fear swells and anxiety takes a hold of us, we can take a step back and realize that God is the one who is in control that Jesus is ever-present in our lives, so much closer than any of us could ever imagine, sometimes in ways that we are not able to see. This morning, the Gospel of John speaks about Jesus at the well with the Samaritan woman. And she approaches this well, and she encounters Jesus, and she doesn't know she's standing in the very presence of Almighty God, right there at Jacob's well in Sychar. And she learns about this water, not just water that will quench the thirst, but water that will fill us up to overflowing. Water that leads us to eternal life. And she wants this water, and Jesus knows her better than she knows herself. And there is this woman who is standing in the midst of death, but yet standing in the very presence of life itself. And that is where we find ourselves today in this world, in this country, a place where fear seems to grip so many. And yet as Christians, we know, we know what true fear is. We know who has us in the palm of his hands. And we trust in that. And we believe that all will be well. The power of water, the fear that existed on that Sea of Galilee that day, subsided, not only literally in the waves and the wind, but within their very hearts and their souls as well. As the words of the song go, Oh, the water gives birth. Oh, the water gives life. Oh, the water will cleanse. Oh, the water is you, where the Holy Spirit moves. Blessed Jesus, bid me come unto Thee. For You in Your glory, You walked the sea, and You calmed the fear within me. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing away. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Whoever has God lacks nothing. For God alone suffices. God bless you. Amen. Because